did not uh, lose his you-know-what as he did here a few weeks ago when he No, had he just marched over and was like, nope. Judging. Well, I appreciate that. As a former college gymnast, it's nice when your coach goes to bat for you sometimes when something feels way off. We had Greg Marson do that a few times <laughs> for us. And Maybe just a few, yes. It's a little vindicating. Greg was always so calm. Until he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Grace to score up a 9-9-2-5. Utah with four scores of nine, nine or better. Molly will keep now for Utah. Beautiful double pike. And again, love that toe point. Those details. What a night for Molly O'Keefe. Yeah. A pair of tens on both bars and beam are two events up to this point. Beautiful jump pass. In case you're wondering, no tens on floor for her. She's gone as high as 995 four times in her career. Oh, you know, just a 995. Just a 995. <laughs> Milo Keith, the defending national champion on this event. And it's because of her cleanliness. She is so clean. Scored a 9925 in the national finals last year. That was a big year for her last year. Really improved her dance before the start of the season. Just gave her a chance for those higher scores on this event. And it certainly paid off for her. Yeah, that's beautiful. One and a half front full. Gorgeous routine. And you're right. Last year we we saw her blossom into the gymnast that we know she can be in. Her potential is through the roof, and I expect she'll add a few more national championships to her, her, what's the word I'm looking for, Mike? Yeah, two more runs at it yep. this year and next year. She'll add a few more. I would think so. Resume. Her resume. Gosh, I do student athlete her development too, I should know <laughs> resume. Yeah, she's got some more to add to whatever you want to call it, her hard work collection. Yes. Again, a two-time national champion on